जय हिंद और टुडे आई एम हियर विथ यू टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए न्यू चैप्टर हु आई एम इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ सम चिल्ड्रन नॉट ओनली देयर बट आल्सो यू आर स्ट्रेंथ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर यू नीड टू आस्क ए क्वेश्चन टू यूर सेल्फ हु आई एम लिसन टू द चैप्टर केयरफुली एंड फाइंड यूर स्ट्रेंथ एंड गिव मी यूर सोल्यूशन राधा my favorite activity is climbing trees just outside our house there is a mango tree which i love to go up it branch spread out so it is simple to climb up the tree and i can sit comfortably in the fork of two branches my mother tells me it is not sensible for girl to climb up tree but on afternoon she climb up too and both of us sat there talking and eating raw mangoes when i am high up in the tree i feel like i can rule the whole world okay listen radha's favorite hobby is climbing tree outside her house there is a mango tree she usually climb up its branches spread out so it is very easy is very simple to climb her mother told that it is not good for a girl to climb up a tree one day radha and her mother both climb up climb up the tree and they sat there and eat the raw mangoes that time she felt that she can rule the whole world that time radha felt that she can by achieving a good position by achieving a high position she can rule the whole world let's listen to the word of nasir when i grew up i want to become a seed collector we have cotton field in our village and every year my father spent a lot of money on buying new seed to grow our cotton plant great my grandfather told me that many years ago he could collect the seed from his own plant which could be sown to grow new plants during the next year but today that doesn't work so we have to spend money to buy new seed every single year i want to find out why that is so i want to learn how to preserve seed so that we can use them again and not spend money every year nasir tells that when he grew up he want to become a seed collector because they have cotton field and in every year his father spend a lot of money to buy cotton seed for farming once his grandfather told that in their olden days they collect seed from their own plants for farming so nasir told that he want to collect cotton seed and he want to find a solution for that and he wanted to learn how to preserve seed through this way they can reduce the cost for farming and they can earn more money rohit if i had a huge amount of money i would travel and travel i want to see the mountain of new zealand because they look beautiful in a magazine picture i wish I could sail down the Amazon River in South America on a raft. I want to live on beaches of Lakshadweep and dive down to see coral. I suppose I should go to the Konark Temple in Orissa or the old city of Beijing in China and a, and the pyramid in Egypt too. But what I actually enjoy is seeing nature more than old building. Rohit told, if he had a huge amount of money he would like to travel he want to see the mountain of new zealand because he found it in a magazine and he find it more beautiful not only new zealand but also he want to see amazon south america he want to sail down amazon river in south america on a raft he would like to live in the beaches of lakshadweep and dive into the sea to see coral he wanted to visit konark temple pyramid in egypt old city in china but what actually he deserve is seeing nature and enjoying nature than all others sabjit what make me very angry is when people don't believe me when i am telling the truth for example if i tell my teacher that i couldn't do my homework because Ravi borrow my book and forgot to return it or i tell my parents that it wasn't me but my little brother who start the fight 
or if i tell my teacher that i really did study for the test even if i have i have got bad mark they all look at me as if they think i am telling lies the look on their faces really angers me sometimes i have to look down at my shoes and count to 10 so that i do not show that i am angry here serbu told that he became angry because nobody believe when he tells the truth for example his teacher he told his teacher that he couldn't do homework because his book was borrowed by another student ravi and he forgot to return it back his parent when his brother did something and start fight his parents believe that that fight was started by the sarjit and also they they scold sarjit for each and every time he tells the truth they thought that he was lying the book the looks on the on their faces make sarjit angry when he got angry he looked down and start counting up to 10 so that he do not show that he was angry next one is dolma dolma is it a cute name okay listen when i grow up i am going to be prime minister of india people always laugh when i say that but i am sure that i will do it everyone in my class ask me what to do when they have a, when they have a problem and my teacher always trust me when something needs to be done in school i want to make things better for everyone i want us to have good hospital and road and school i want to make sure that there are many good scientists in india who will invent cure, who will invents cures for diseases and send a spaceship to mars dolma's wish is to become the prime minister of india he told her wish to someone they started laughing but for dolma it is not a problem many students approach her for finding solution and many teachers always trust her when something needs to be done in the school actually dolma want to build good roads uh, hospitals and a school for the welfare of the country and also he wanted to make sure that many scientists in india they want to invent medicine and cure the disease and also send a space ship to mars to develop the science field in india from the words of dolma we can understand that her desire her wish is very strong and she want to achieve it and she, i am sure that she will uh, do hard work for achieving her dream the last man is peter my favorite day is the second sunday of every month on this day our whole family always go to the cinema hall to see a film my father gets the ticket in advance and all of us my grandmother my parents my two brothers and i check the bus there in the interval my father buys us peanut and i love to i love to sit in the darkness of the hall eating and watching the film afterwards he always stop to eat ice cream everyone is in a good mood and we all feel very lucky that we are such a happy family for peter second sunday is the most important day in his life because on that day his parents book ticket for a movie and all his family members grandfather uh, parents brothers everyone went for the movie and the most important thing for peter is in the interval time his father buy peanut for them and they sat in the darkness of the hall and eating and watching the film after the film his father offer ice cream for him and for peter everyone in this good mood and everyone feel very happy and lucky so for peter uh, our second sunday is a very important day because as he felt that all the people are very happy and their family is the happy happiest family that's why he love the second sunday of every month in this chapter everyone tells about their wishes and their strength i hope you have your own strength and your own wishes just find it out and make a solution for your solution or your dream or whatever it is 
I hope you understand the chapter. Thank you.